If you pick the right niche with under 1,000 subscribers on your newsletter, you could be creating a solid income. Not only that, but you could set yourself out as an expert, meaning you can charge for consultancy, or you could become the go-to person in your niche, connecting businesses together and make a full-time income and leave your nine to five. I'm gonna show you in this video here exactly how you can do that. In our video that went out last Friday, you can find that on the channel if you want to, and I'll leave a link down in the description to it. We talked about venture capital, why it's such a great niche at the moment. It's got a lot of money in it, and you can create a newsletter that targets venture capital, either from the point of view of an investor or somebody trying to find funding in order to be able to start a newsletter. But we also talk about with newsletters, the fact that you want to go hyper niche. You don't want to try and do better than everyone else necessarily. You need to carve out your own space and going hyper niche is a way to do that. Find a niche and then go a couple of levels down. And I want to show you exactly how I would do this in this particular video because there's something that's trending at the moment that we could take advantage of with a newsletter and we could build out a great newsletter which would only need a small following but we could make a lot of money from so the example that i'm taking is this newsletter here i've nicknamed it is this reality and it is a newsletter that focuses on the ar niche or augmented reality now this is set to be a big niche in 24 25 and beyond and just to show you i'm not making this up we've got this article here um, it says we've got 24 augmented reality stats for 2024 2028 again you go down to the description you can check this out for yourself but you can see it's got a huge valuation projected to rise so that's nearly double we've got 1.4 billion ar users and three in four adults age um, under the age of 44 are aware so you've got your niche and your audience right there but you've got a huge huge market that you can access and as i said you can go through all of this on your own you can see that it's uh, expected to grow and you can go through all of these uh, details yourself but what we would be doing is we would be creating a curated newsletter Okay, now the reason I've called it is this reality is we're going to start off with AR, but it gives us the opportunity to talk about virtual reality, VR and XR, which is mixed reality if we wanted to. Now, the great thing about this is we can find lots of information that's curated around these particular topics and put it together and we can jump on trending topics or viral topics in order to be able to get a little bit more engagement, especially if we're going to be showing our newsletter out to relevant Facebook groups or on LinkedIn or things like that. And if you're thinking about an exit strategy, which I always revise, then you've got an opportunity to sell it as well, because a title such as Is It Reality? The person who buys it could really go in any one of these directions. Now, what we're going to do for this, as I said, is we're going to focus on the venture capital niche. We're going to see if we can talk to investors or talk to uh, startups with our content, but we're going to link in the AR as our niche, and we're going to focus on gaming. And the reason that I pick gaming, again, is we go to this article and if you're happy to do your research, you'll be able to see that gaming is by far the most popular AR use. Now, there's no reason why you couldn't actually target any one of these if you have one of these that's more an interest to you. And all I've done here, as you can see, I put the word gaming in these newsletter ideas and you could just swap out the word gaming for music or history or education and you could craft out your own newsletter. So do think about what your interests are and what your backgrounds are. But the first newsletter that I might think about writing about is industry deep dives. Now these aren't necessarily curated or I could put together a curated list of industry deep dives, such as the article I've just shown you, taking a look at specific gaming industries and their investment potential. So there might be particular areas within gaming as a niche that I want to explore, linking to the possibilities of AR and their investment potential. So talking to people who have got money, who are investors within venture capital and suggesting places where they could go to invest if they're interested in the gaming niche and just showing how AR and gaming are such huge potentials for them. The second newsletter that I could create is a new startup advice. So this is going after uh, those companies that are already in the AR gaming niche or in the gaming niche that might be interested in augmented reality gaming that are going through maybe their first round of funding or trying to get um, funding together and providing them with advice. So this is just taking a different angle, a different approach to it, starting from a different viewpoint. 
But with both of these, these are people that have got money to invest, money to spend, or are interested in getting money together. And therefore, there's a lot of ways that you could make money from this newsletter. The third idea that I've got is uh, Pitch Perfect, which is analyzing successful pitch decks and strategies for fundraising and how gaming companies can learn from these. So again, this would be startups that are in the gaming niche or want to start up a gaming um, in, in the gaming niche but don't know how to and you're going to go through pitch deck strategies things that are out there in the past curate them together and then share them as i said any of these could be a deep dive if you wanted to and you wanted to use something like a uh, google bard in order to be able to write them um, and obviously you can get ChatGPT to help you with your lead magnets i was using google bard the other day and i must say i was impressed i asked it to do some research for me on a particular newsletter that we're going to be doing a beehive breakdown on very very shortly and it found a huge amount of information for me in just a few seconds something that would have taken me 30 40 minutes to put together myself it did it one prompt um, and it gave me all the information straight from google so it's definitely worthwhile doing you can set all of this up on beehive remember we got our beehive training here on the channel if you want to check it out completely for free and then use these free tools as well now you could apply any of these ideas to viral content and something that's taking off right at the moment which links into this is the apple vision pro as you can see from the data here from google trends uh, we've got nothing happening through december and then at the beginning of january this really really starts to take off so if you could start producing some content around the apple vision pro that links to either taking a look at specific gaming industries and, and linking to the Apple Vision Pro about investors or people trying to find funding, or learning lessons from what Apple are doing in terms of investing or investors um, and how you could apply this, then you can jump on this particular trend and then you can do exactly the same within any other viral trends that you could find within this niche. Just double down, create a load of content around it and jump on that particular trend because you know people are going to be interested in reading about it. So even if you're not going to rank in Google or anything like that, people are going to be interested in reading about it. And you can see that we've got good tier one countries, people with the money to buy these headsets as consumers and people have got, that are going to be living in the countries that are going to be the investors um, are interested in this topic as well. So monetization, well, you could go for affiliate marketing, I guess, but we're looking at people that have got a lot of money. So what I'd be doing is I would be thinking about what content can I write in order to be able to get people interested in me. And then once I've done that, I would be thinking about sponsorships and advertising, but not only that, you can create your own products as well. So it might be a, a an idea that you could have a look into something like no code for example and you could build yourself your own no code marketplace bringing investors and startups together maybe you would have uh, some kind of community instead if you didn't want to go down the marketplace route where you would be bringing people together and giving them the insights or if you wanted to you could go for a paid newsletter where you share some of the information for free and then the best juicy bits go in the paid version of your newsletter so yeah paid newsletter or creating some kind of no code tool that these people could use or a paid community where you're bringing um, these two parties together in any of these newsletters would be the way that I would be suggesting to go with this particular idea. So if this is something that you're interested in, obviously go away, do your own due diligence. These ideas here I created with the help of ChatGPT, so ChatGPT can definitely help you out. As I said, link in the description to this article here that you can go through in your own time and check out all the information they've got here about AR um, and what what kind of niche that you could target, what kind of audience you could target um, in order to be able to create either a B2B or B2C newsletter. If there's any other particular niches that you want us to dive into, find you some opportunities, then please do leave a comment down in the description. As I said, remember we have our free training on how to start a newsletter without spending any money if you don't want to on this channel as well. You'll find that on the challenge homepage as well as our community, which is where we save all our best content. So if you think this is valuable, definitely go and check out that community because there's a ton more value in the community at the moment. It is still free for you to get in. Get in now before it becomes paid. You'll get access to everything that we've got there completely for free. If you like this video and got value, really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing, liking, and as I said, leave a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.